Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, well, let's say, what is this, the eighth installment on our forum tutorial here. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to be um, be able to click our categories now and uh, view the topics that are inside of it. Alright, um, in our last tutorial, we finalized the Create Topic. In that, we created three of our own topics. We have um, our ID, our category ID, the title of it, the date, and um, timestamp in the message in the user who posted it. Alright, um, okay, uh, sorry for the delay on these, it's just, uh, doing other stuff, you know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna open this up, and what we're gonna do, we're going to find our include, and we'll go to our form here. Okay, and, um, now we you could see this right here there are no topics in this forum click here to create a topic okay now we're going to um supply an else statement and we're going to do a while statement so while row equals my sql fetch associates oh, we already have row defined so we're going to do row 2 and fetch so rest 2 okay um if I didn't mention already, we're going to create a list of topics. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're actually going to set it in a table in this. So table border equals zero, cell spacing equals three, cell padding equals three. All right. And now, um. We're going to do echo TRTD, and we're going to uh, put, we're going to align the row to center, and now we're going to create a new uh, data cell here, and we're going to put title, and next we're going to put user, and next we'll put date, and um, and then the last we'll do replies alright we're gonna end this okay we're gonna go and end the table just so we don't forget oops and now we're going into our while statement here and we're going to individually echo each row so we'll have title and um, I'm gonna open up our global file or our whatever, you know, we'll open global up and we'll create a function um, that we could just easily do this instead of having to always type the strip 3 okay, uh, we'll do return strip slashes strip slashes strip slashes it should only do it once anyway, but since there might be 3 we're going to test it with one just so we can do this. We're going to rename this to just S. Save it. Okay. And now here we're going to uh, actually put a, a link to this. So this will be index.php act equals topic and ID equals row to ID. And now we're going to put the title in it. So row to title. And we're going to end that. And then we're going to end the data cell. And next we have user. So we're going up here and create a new topic. I mean a function. We're going to call this UID. And we'll put UID as our value. And now we're going to select username from users where ID equals UID. This way we could just return the user's name. Okay. And now we're just going to check to see uh, if it actually exists. So if it doesn't, we'll return unknown. Else, we'll return their username. So we'll supply a new variable called row. And notice how I only selected a username from that table. So we'll do return row username. Okay. As you can see, I'm getting emails. Save that. 
And now we'll go here. We'll do UID row to UID. And then we have date. So we'll just echo our date out. Row to date. Okay, and next we're going to have to inside here we're going to create um, one more query and we're going to select count star we don't have form reply so we can't really do this at the moment but um, so I'm just going to create this form replies where TID equals row to ID oops and okay where's three And we're going to select count star as num replies. And we'll do row 3 equals MySQL fetch associ rest 3. Okay, we're going to comment all this out. Okay, and just over here, we're going to do row 3 num replies. Just so we have that for future usage, you know. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and test it out. Refresh. There you have it. We have title user date replies. Now um we could uh span this over. Um so it's actually you know span over the whole thing. So width equals one hundred percent. Save it and refresh. There you have it. Um I bet I think it's best if we uh centered those two. So we'll do align equals center. There we have it. And um we have one, two, three. Okay, and now right into our select form topics here, we're gonna do order by time descending. And you have test test hello. And um, now that we don't have any other topics in any other one, we go and create this just so we can narrow it out. Media test. We'll go to create topic. Okay. And uh, now that you can see that our topic here, since we don't have that action defined just yet, nothing's there. Okay. See, we're in media. If we go back to main chat, it's not going to be there. Okay, next we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and uh, modify the, the cascading style sheet for this, just so it looks a little neater. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open our index file, and we have a style sheet, so we'll open that. Do we? Hmm. Okay, I'll just open this manually then. Forum, style is yes. Alright. Now we're going down here, and we're going to to find a class called uh, forum, uh, we'll do header, and we'll do uh, border one pixel solid number CCC. Font family Tahoma. Color is black. All right, um, that'll work. And then we'll do. Actually, let's go ahead and save this. Um, I want to do one more, actually. Actually, we could do it the same way. So let's go back to our form here. And we'll do uh, class equals forum header. I'm just going to show you right now, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Our background is, see, is that color. Is that? Yeah, it is. Let's uh, do E. What color is our background? I'll go ahead. Doesn't want to load. Let's see. Let's make sure we have this correct. We have classic was form header. Is that what we called it? Okay. Let's try this um manually on our on just the data cells. Okay, let's go ahead and test that. There it goes. 
Okay, we're gonna go about it and change this back to CCC, whatever color it was. Okay, it was CCC. Okay, so uh, now we're going to uh, add that to each of these. So let's just copy and paste this, make it a little faster. And we have our replies. Lastly, let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, and uh, for for each of these, we're going to um, do a separate one. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do actually inside this, I just want to put a, well, I guess we could uh, get away from styling it, I guess. Is that fair enough, or should we put something on that? I think we should put something on that, just so it looks a little neater. So we'll go ahead and edit this, and we'll do form header 2. And we'll set the border to one pick solid C O C O C O font family to Homa color number let's do one two three let's do a nice maroon here. And we'll go back to our form here. We'll do class two plus form header two. Same with this one. Oops. And this one. Cut. And last but not least, the replies. Let's hope we can get this in. Save it. We'll go ahead and test it. Well, I failed. At least the color changed, you know? Huh. Apparently, I spelled solid wrong. Oh, yeah, I spelled solid wrong. Okay, save it. There we go. That actually looks horrible. So, um, what I'm going to do is uh, go back, get rid of all these, and one more. We'll just do an actual styling on this. Style equals border one pixel solid number C O C O C O. See if that'll change anything. Guess not, we fail again. Whatever. I guess it's fine. Um Yeah, that'll do. Okay, um now we're going to move on to our act equals topic, and this will be able to view what we have our inside our topics here. So Let's go ahead and go into our index here. And where we have where we have it right here. Okay, we're gonna do if action equals topic include includes topic.php. Save this. Let's go here and add our topic to our array. Oops, okay, and uh, now that the file doesn't exist, we got to create it. We will save this. And our includes, we'll call it topic. Alright, now that we have that, there we go. Okay, I'm going to stop this a little short, and we'll continue with, when we'll continue with this uh, tutorial into our uh, next one. So uh, if you like this tutorial and you wish to see it continue, or you want to see the, the finalization of it, what do you want to call it, um, stay tuned, subscribe to me, that way you will receive my videos as soon as I upload them. I'd appreciate if you rated them, uh, and if you comment on them, I will be sure to uh, respond, whether positive or negative, and worth replying to. And um, yeah, this video will be available in high definition. This is part 9, isn't it? Yeah, I was wrong. I think it is part 9. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye.